Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tone, with the news, updates, trends, and analysis. A lot of big things has been going on with AI and artificial intelligence. I've actually been playing a lot with ChatGPT and other artificial intelligence that is actually helping me with a lot of things. You guys know I do a lot of things. This is why I'm barely on YouTube, but I've made a commitment and I am going to sleep here more for you guys. I'm willing to sleep here more. I'm willing to sacrifice time and women and party for your content. It's very interesting, guys, what's going on. And I'd rather be creating and focused on showing you guys what's out there. So I've been dabbling into chat GPT, like I mentioned, and I've seen and done so many things such as coding, biographies, essays, plans, and now I'm going to start going in into creating websites, apps, and many things with the help of AI and also chat GPT being one of them. And ChatGPT being one of the main source to help me create many of these things that you guys are about to see flourish coming from me. You guys will see it first before Instagram. You guys will see it before TikTok, Twitter, anything. I love YouTube. And YouTube, thank you so much. Google, thank you so much for providing this platform. With ChatGPT, you guys could do so much. And I recommend to dabble in, study, ask a question. It's all about asking the right questions to ChatGPT, really. It's nothing else. Right questions, and it'll give you the right answers. If you ask it, uh, an example, what I asked it, because my boy was like, yo, how about we start creating websites? And I'm like, hmm, let me ask ChatGPT. So I asked ChatGPT, how do I create a website? It gave me basic answers. And I was just like, damn, all right. So now I'm asking for source codes and keys and functions. And now it's giving me more of a better answer. So it's all about knowing the basic things with ChatGPT. You can't just go in there and think you can ask a basic questions. Because, yeah, I'll give you some basic information. But if you ask in ask her or him, whatever it is, AI, what you want, it'll give you what you need. So let's get into it. I saw that ChatGPT can integrate into Siri. What? I was like, what? I'm like, I'm going to have to do this. I actually have a new phone. I have two phones now. You know I'm about to get into some action. I got the 13 and the 14. I'm going to try it out on the 14th. Let's see what happens. Maybe not in this video. I'll show you the uh, the actual what happened. But I will be updating you guys maybe in the next video about this. Let's get into the article that I picked up and see what they're talking about. Integrate ChatGPT into Siri to make your Apple voice instant. A hundred times smarter. We all been there. You ask Siri a question and responds with the ever frustrating, sorry, I didn't understand that. It could be an accent or dialect problem. The fact that Siri isn't trained on the vast volume of data that Google AI is trained on or just that Apple absolutely dropped the ball on Siri. Apple launched the voice AI as an app almost 13 years ago. Although Siri today still feels noticeably dumb and unhelpful, even after more than a decade, Google's voice AI seems to overwhelmingly be the most popular choice nowadays. Although there's a new kid on the block that absolutely is eating Google's launch, lunch, at least in the search department. Unveiled. Less than a year ago, ChatGPT from OpenAI took the world by storm, 
for its incredible natural language processing capabilities, hitting a million users in just five days and 100 million users in just two months. That's faster than the growth seen by social media giants like Facebook, Google, and even Snapchat. Chat GPT, intelligent and human-like responses make it the perfect AI chatbot, especially given that it really understands natural sentences much better than the most other AI tools. And it's most likely to respond with a helpful answer to an apology developer may Marge Shalanko saw this as a brilliant opportunity to integrate ChatGPT intelligence with Siri, turning it into much more helpful voice AI with a little bit of hackery, which took him about an hour. Marshalko combined Siri voice feature with ChatGPT NLP intelligent using Apple shortcuts feature. The result, as much better voice AI that fetches better search results, offers more meaningful conversation and even lets you control smart home in much more human-friendly way, almost revealing Tony Stark's Jarvis in terms as usability. Ooh. Let's try this out. Let's see. Okay, so I'm cool. Hey, who are you? I am the AI brain of your smart home. How may I be of assistance? Just noticed that I'm recording this video in the dark in the office. Can you do something about that? Turning on the lights for you. So what sort of stuff can you help me with? I can help you with tasks related to controlling lights, thermostats, towel rails, underfloor heating and ventilation in your home. I can also help you with parenting, free time, mental health and more. Okay, smart home. Yes. My wife is on the way driving home and will be here in 15 minutes. Switch lights on for her outside just before she parks up. The lights should be turned on by the time your guest arrives. We are going to head out for a short walk into the town centre. Can you recommend a few things to see? St Albans is known for its history and heritage. There are many lovely parks and trails, the Relanian Museum, the Cathedral and Abbey Church, or the Clock Tower if you would like to view it from outside. For some shopping, the Maltings Shopping Centre is great or enjoy a meal at one of the local restaurants. Can you recommend some ideas on saving some energy? One sec. Of course. One great way to save energy would be to turn off electronics when they are not in use and unplug them from the wall. You could also try to use energy efficient light bulbs to reduce the amount of energy used for lighting. Additionally, setting your thermostat at a lower temperature in the winter and a higher temperature in the summer can also help you save energy. I just finished cooking a big meal in the kitchen. Can you check what's the temperature? The temperature in the kitchen is 20.4 degrees Celsius. Wow. I think the air is a bit stale. Please give the house some fresh air. Ventilation system turned on, creating a fresh environment. I just burned my feet on the bathroom floor. It's so hot. Turn it off now. One moment. Floor heating has been turned off in the bathroom. Thanks. Also, the towels are soaking wet on the towel rail. The towel rail should be on to help drying your items. Okay, smart one. Yes. I think my son is a bit tired. What can I do to wind him down and get ready for better time? Try setting a calming environment like playing some soothing music, dimming the lights and giving him a warm drink before settling him down with his favorite book or a movie. I sent my son to bed to read for another 20 minutes. Can you switch off the lights when it's time to sleep? <laughs> okay, lights off when it's time to sleep. Yesterday it took me a while to fall asleep. Do you have any suggestion to help me sleep better tonight? Yes. Here are a few suggestions to help you sleep better. Avoid caffeine and heavy, sugary meals. Set a relaxing evening routine, such as enjoying a warm bath or reading a book. Sleep in a cool, dark, and quiet environment. Make sure your mattress and pillows are comfortable. Exercising during the day can also help you have a good night's sleep. Okay, smart one. Yes. I'm going to trust you with this one. Set the bedroom to a temperature you think would help me sleep better. Wow. Bedroom thermostat set to 19 degrees. Enjoy your sleep. 
19 degrees. <laughs> What's going on with that? All right. So let's keep reading. Marsh Alco lists out his entire procedure in Miami blog post that I definitely recommend checking out if you want to build your own Siri GPT tool with an approach that require absolutely no coding experience. I asked GPT-3 to pretend to be the smart brain of my house, carefully explain what it can access around the house and how to respond to my request. He said I explained all this in plain English with no program code involved. Wow. The video about demonstrates exactly how Marshalko's Siri GPT works. His home is filled with thousands, dozens of lights, thermostats, underfloor heating, ventilation unit, cameras, and a lot more, making a perfect testing ground for possibly even your case. Marshalko starts by splitting up his task into four distinct, distinct request types. The floor request types are label command, query, answer, and clarify, and each request type has its own process that GPT-3 follows to determine what needs to be done. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to see that, actually. Okay. I'm going to have to keep that one. Let me put that one on my bookmark to attend to later. I'm definitely going to try to do it, guys, again. I'll probably post if I get it done. Um, I don't have too much smart things. I do have Alexa. I do have lights. I do have a few things. Um, I don't have cameras in this house. Uh, I mean, maybe we could do another house. Um, I'll see. I'll figure it out. I'll be back with that. Where the magic really unfolds is how even indirect requests from Mark Chalko are understood and translated into meaningful actions by the assistant. While Siri and other AI assistants only respond to direct quest requests like turn the light on or open the garage door, GPT-3 allows for more announced conversation. It, in one explain, example, Marshalko says, now it is that I'm recording the video in the dark in the office. Can you, can you do something about that? And the assistant probably turns on the light while responding with an AI integrated response instead of a template reply. In another example, he says, my wife is on the way driving home. And okay, I already, we already know that. Wow, this is still, it's still mind blowing guys, because man, like imagine being able to do that. And it's not even imagine, it's already happening. You know, like I don't even know about this. This is another level stuff, like super excited to see what I could do. Um, I'm actually going to remodel a lot. Like I've been saying, I'm remodeling this room. I got this bed here that I could take out in and out whenever I want, when I don't sleep here or when I do sleep here, whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure I can bring somebody over <laughs> with that or maybe I don't know. Hey, you know, I'm, you know, who I, uh, <laughs> anyways, guys, um, if you guys like these videos, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, share it to your friends. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you guys to use chat GPT, but it's something that I feel like everybody should be using, especially now. So when the future of all this is really taking over, you're already adapted and you're a master and moving. This will help us move faster, guys. Thank you guys so much again. I love you guys. I appreciate that you guys are still here for me. I promise to you. And I promise myself to make more sacrifices and stop letting the short-term pleasures take away from me and take away from you guys because I need you guys. And I don't know if you need me, but I'm going to give you some advice and give you all the sauce you need to become better people, make financial decisions better, and create opportunities for wealth, for generational wealth and your kids, 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 kids. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Till next video.